So I'm making this gift basket for um, somebody whose brother died recently, and I'm, uh, I just want to make sure she's doing as well as she can be doing, considering. So um, it's a picnic basket, and I'm filling it with, uh, she has a couple of sons, so I'm putting three placemats and three um, napkins, three cups, three plates, you know, three forks, stuff like that. So she can take this out picnicking. But I don't actually know if these plates are going to fit in the basket now. I might have to do something different. Because I put these in not really thinking. You know, I didn't measure out the basket first to see that these things will actually fit in here so that she can actually go picnicking with her sons. Um, and I don't know if these flowers are... I love them. Uh, they're just pretend. Uh, but I, I don't know if they're really appropriate. Her brother, his favorite color was teal. And as you can see, my favorite colors are purple and blue. And so I've done this all wrong for... I've, I've made this basket for me. I realize now. And this is terrible. I should have been making it for... Well her or him, um, the brother who died, and I really didn't think that through. So I got the color scheme all wrong. Anyway, uh, I, what I did, like normally when you do a gift basket, you put just newspaper in the bottle, bottom and then you fill up with other things on top, right? But um, I put jars full of different things. So that one is Palestinian parsnip soup and then there's like all sorts of food stuff right instant healthy canned food so she can eat that whenever she is feeling she needs emergency food and it's way better to grab a can of or a jar canned soup than make instant food from the store that is full of unhealthy fats unhealthy carbs um, additives, preservatives, coloring, you name it. So, um, whereas my stuff is not. My stuff's healthy. So, uh, I will be transferring this. This is, I just bottled this ginger mint kombucha today for her. And um, uh, I'll put that in, I also bought a styrofoam cooler and I'll put um, ice packs and like food and in there and uh, so then she'll have a, a good care package with um, an assortment of healthy things to consume and I'm gonna give her some sauerkraut and kimchi um, and that also has the live bacteria culture so that'll be in the cooler not in here but this right now since I just bottled it I'm letting it sit for a while at room temperature so it gets a little more carbonation going on because people tend to like carbonation in the kombucha so me I don't really care it's nice both ways so anyway and I'm giving some hiking plans because um, it's free admission to Glacier and Mount Revelstoke September 15 and Cave and Basic Basin Historic Site in Banff on September 16th so she could take I mean she'll have to take out all the jars from the bottom and then restuff her picnic stuff and she could go to take her boys to Glacier and Mount Revelstoke and then on the way back hit Cave and Basin for a little bit of interesting education um, so that's kind of my hopes it might give her some good memories of this time of year rather than um, just thinking about her brother in the future. Anyway, and I'm um, providing her with all of the seeds that I have seeds for <laughs> so far uh, out of my uh, peat bale row. So she can grow her own peat bale row exactly like this one, if she liked this one this year. Um, yeah. And then, well, I'll be, once I'm done deciding like I'll be taking this out of here so then I'll, I'll need something taller right because you look at the basket and it's nice but it'd be nicer if it had something going up to about here right so um, I'll figure that out and then 
I'm going to tie it shut with this. And then I picked out this ribbon and I don't know that I, I think I'm gonna have to pick out a different ribbon. And then I'll put a ribbon in, in the top. Well, once I, you know, put this, this on to tie it shut, right? And then, um, oh, I also have to stick the card inside and with directions to put the sauerkraut kombucha and kimchi in the fridge and stuff like that because the other stuff doesn't need to be but that does and there's a bottle of my cherry wine but like it's really I don't use the sulfites to kill the yeast so it's um, completely free of sugar I age it a year in the carboy and just keep filling up the um, airlock with water and <sighs> anyway so there's no sugar in that no sugar in any of my stuff my kombucha, I exhaust the sugar out of that too, so she might find that too. Uh, it, it may not be sweet enough for her. She might want to add some stevia or something, because I drink it that way, but I doubt anybody else would. Anyway, so that's, that's my basket. I hope she'll like it.